Ladies and gentlemen, Jet Sunstrider here. Welcome back to Sunstrider's Guide to Planet Side 2. And if you gotta tell already, it's going to be another presentation style video, mainly because this is going to be the continent overview. I'm pretty much just going to explain the general geography. Geography, does that make sense? I think it does of each continent, you know, what they're like, what kind of biome it is, and you know, what kind of gameplay generally strives on each. And as you can tell by this picture here, not every continent is unlocked at the same time, so it's not like I can just pre-record a bunch of random... So it's not like I can just pre-record my descriptions of all the continents like the night before or something and then just go off from there so I'm pretty much it's just pretty much a big slideshow of screenshots that I check myself all of these screenshots are picture or all of these pictures are screenshots I took myself in game and pretty much just uploaded to the Steam gallery if you check my profile you can see them all there I mean it's a public profile so don't worry so, yeah, it's not like I randomly ripped these things off of the internet and I'm not giving proper credit. These are my personal thumbnails, thumbnails, personal screenshots that I took myself. So that, that, with that said, I think the order of my, uh, screenshots go like Hazen, Amorish, Indar, Esimir, Coltier, Coltier doesn't really matter because it's like five bases and it's a training continent so that doesn't really matter the VR training is pretty much the random little sub moon base thing where that I've used for the vehicle and weapon overviews so there you go so pretty much I will give a few few words about each continent and scroll through the little slideshow screenshots I got here. So the first one is Hazen. Now Hazen I could only get nighttime screenshots because at the time I was playing it was nighttime and as you can see there are a lot of trees on this continent. Hazen is a tree covered swamp map. And because of all these trees and a bunch of roots and plants on the ground Vehicle combat is kind of difficult. Only the very skilled pilots may be able to get through this continent. And don't ask me why I was flying around as I was taking these screenshots. So tanks and aircraft can't really get around too good. Although the this continent does provide a lot of natural light with all those yellowish plants you see dotting the area. So there's a lot of natural light from the plants on this continent but the amount of trees rocks hills and all that other crap really makes it hard for vehicles to get around however this continent does prove to have two unique bases on this map this base right here in this screenshot actually is a biodome which I will explain in a later part but in general Biodomes are these giant domes, half spear, like half spear dome structures that are normally extended or hoisted into the air and is supported by like three or I think four legs. But this biodome either suffered, suffered the tides of battle or natural causes, but this biodome fell and the foliage around it has slowly taken it over which is actually kind of cool no other biolab is like this this is a very uh, unique base in terms of in terms of its general appearance and pretty much there are a lot of ridges here a lot of mountain a lot of hills here and of course the million freaking trees like I said don't ask me why I was flying here and you know there are a lot of hidey holes for sunderers on this continent though like there are like these giant trees that fell over and hollowed out or either got hollowed out by 
humanity are either hollowed out over time. And Sunders can actually fit inside them. And here is another nice view here. This this is supposed to be one of Araxius's moons. But I think because of a render bug, render error, it looks like it's flying through like a base over there. I don't know why, but hey, it looks cool. Also, another one of the very unique bases in this entire game is a treehouse base. This is a base built in trees. No other base is like this as far as I'm concerned. So, there you go, and it also has a lot of swamp water here. You will very much find a lot of these patches of water all over the place. And I think one base called the Groovy Dam, yes, it literally is called Groovy Dam, as like a big like pit of just nasty swamp water that if you jump into said nasty jump swamp water you will instantly die. Plant site 2 armor is not capable of underwater travel, so you will just get to die. And that concludes Hazen. Next up is Amorish, which is one of the more lush continents on the planet. It has the most, I guess of greenery and as you can tell by this first screenshot there are a lot of freaking big mountain ranges this ha i'm pretty sure half of this continent if not less maybe like a quarter is covered with mountain mountains and the rest are like open fields so you know yeah you, like, you like have your open fields down here and then off in the distance you have your mountain ranges or this screenshot is probably a better example like all down here is like open field and then in the distance you see this big mountain here and there are actually bases built in those mountains and yes they are a hell for any ground vehicle to traverse you're better off just hitting your harasser turbo and flying off the edge you'll have a better chance of maneuvering it without dying so yeah, there's a there's a good mix of infantry combat in the in the mountains, as well as maybe some uh, aircraft, you know, maybe like liberators bombarding the side of the mountain, or ESFs making strafing runs on the open roadways. And then down here, the trees provide decent air cover, but you will see more ground vehicles down in like this area here. And as you can also uh, over here, this is also technically a bio lab, but it is a hell to fight on. There are these like narrow staircases, like like I think on each side over here, which are like the only ways out of the base. And they and the enemy will they are just choke points. They will slaughter you if you try to climb up those stairs. And apparently also you can build like construction bases on top of it, but that is just a hellish base to fight on. I do not like fighting in it at all. And uh, you see, this is a close-up of the mountain, and you can see there's an air tower. Why the hell would there be an air tower here? Like, yeah, sure, it's kind of on the top of the mountain, but you still have all these rocks surrounding it. Why the hell? That's a worst... That is the worst spot for a fucking air tower. And you have this big, like, winding road that goes all up over here, and I think it goes down that way. Yeah, there are, in fact, roads and bases built into these mountains. And like I said, they are, in fact, a hell to try to traverse. And this is another, this is more like a canyon, almost, with the amount of rocks around it. And this is just another open field. I think that's an amp station over there, like one of the bigger bases in the game. And that concludes Amorish, and now we move on to Indar. Which, in case you couldn't tell, it's a giant desert. There are some green patches here and there, but mostly it's just a bare desert. Now, this continent features wide open fields, fewer trees than Amorish, and giant canyons that can act as like vehicle choke points. So, aircraft is definitely has an easier time here than Amorish and definitely Hazen. You'll find more vehicle and more aircraft play, although the skilled pilots can go on any continent and still be very, very good at their job. But overall, 
This, it had, it's still pretty plentiful with the trees here. I don't know why it's a fucking desert. And this is the, and this is an, uh, an example of like a canyon, right? Over here is actually the edge of the map, but in through here is actually like a canyon. And there's this big ass bridge that can also act as a very big choke point. And here's the other side of the bridge, pretty much, where the canyon leads into a tech plant, I believe, which is the second big base. And then over here, you can see a big canyon over here, a canyon leading over there, and a canyon leading over there. So yeah, lots of cliffs and canyons here. You might see, you might see like in pockets of infantry, like on the edges here, shooting down at whatever bases that are. Also, this archway is a very popular spot for like infantry firefights like one sunder here and then all the defenders climb up here and then there's just a big massive stalemate shootout here on this archway i fought here before that's how i know <laughs> and this is a more greener area but you can still tell it's a freaking desert and now we move on to hazen hazen has a very few trees on it 90% of this continent is fast, open landscape, open fields, open frozen tundras. And the other 10% is where I, the actual bases are. I mean, there are some small trenches and maybe, maybe some small hills barely being able to be considered mountains. But most of it is open fields. Also, here's a twin air tower base. These things are actually pretty rare. You don't see a lot of these. But yes, I mean, there are a lot of whoopsie daisy. What the fuck? There are a lot of patches of rock. Yes, which kind of form mini trenches. But, you know, you, you can definitely see aircraft being king here. Like, there's like barely any trees. Also, there are a bunch of weird Vanu looking purple spikes. Like all these jagged things over here and that thing over there in the distance. These are all spikes that jut out of the ground. Here's just a view of a uh, Vanu base. So by the way, I'm just roaming around as NC in this uh, in this screenshot. And I just strolled, happened to stroll up to a player made base. And it's like, oh, hey guys. Anyway, that's the final uh, screenshot I got. So, I mean, it's not very... Uh, not a very long episode, definitely. And it's, I mean, what more can you say? Also, this may or may not be an excuse to show up how fucking amazing this game looks. Cause I'm not even rolling at like the highest settings. I think these are medium settings and this game still looks pretty cool. Like this is a very pretty game, gotta say. Yeah, I mean, what else is there to say? There's you, you got your swamp continent, right? This is your swamp continent. You got your, uh, you got your mountainous green lush continent here. A bunch of mountains and a bunch of rocks sticking out everywhere. And then you got your desert with a little bit of green with a lot of trees and canyons and choke points and cliffs and stuff. Popular sniping locations also on these bridges down into the AM station below or the tech plant or whatever the fuck that is. And then you got your big frozen tundra where aircraft is freaking king. But yeah, it's pretty simple, you know, you got your pretty simple setup. It's kind of like a Mario game where there's like lava world, green world, castle world, food world, and then boss level. <laughs> but hey, you know what? It works. They're clearly identifiable. They are all unique. They have all unique terrain. They have all unique preferred uh, uh, play styles. But of course, if you're good at whatever play style you prefer, like if you're a good tank driver, you can f drive around Hazen with like with no problems. But uh, yeah, as always, any questions? Please do let me know. Hopefully you think the game is, is as pretty as I do. Like, these are wallpaper-worthy thumbnails, man. Like, especially this one. This is probably one of my favorite thumbnails. Also, the big... Uh, yeah, this one. This one is also cool. But anyway, like I said, that's really it for the continents. I think next time, I think next week's Sunstrider's Guide to Planet Site 2, 
is going to be actual bases, so I will actually explain what the hell a bio lab is, and not just a dome on the legs. And I will actually explain the difference between an amp station and a tech plant. And yeah, so uh, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this guide playthrough. Hopefully you guys are interested in the game. Thank you all for I just oh my god I'm like a broken record. Okay, thank you all for watching. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>